It is all to play for in our Europa League group today. Final two matches. Slavia Prague, Real San Sebastian. Real Sociedad if you're normal. We are currently bottom of the group, however, because we drew 1-1 with Osijek off camera. Not the best performance. No Neymar in our starting 11. In fact, no Neymar in our squad today because he is lacking match fitness. Alex Arthur will be our left winger. We have already played Slavia Prague once in the group stages. We won that match 1-0. And I think it was a penalty, if I remember correctly. So uh, we are good enough to get a draw. And if luck goes our way, we're good enough to get a victory. Arthur is running with this ball. The Ghanaian into the penalty area. He's gone for goal. It's not the best effort. Easily saved by Chalice. Nine minutes on the clock, so still very early on. Bossard's throw isn't very good. Mali's going to smash that ball upfield and controlled well by Herdelica. Her Maybe. Not sure. He's gone for goal. Eurus Melkemian makes a good save. I don't know whether I've mentioned this before either. Melkemian has signed a new contract. He doesn't want to go to Saudi Arabia. Adnan Yanazai is taking the corner for Slavia Prague. That is actually Adnan Yanazai. That's not some, like, fake one. That's the real one. Pedrinho's pushed over Stefan Huggins. That is going to be a yellow card and a free kick. Yanazai with a free kick. 15 minutes played. Yanis Vugel's head's clear. Taihi's not fast enough to get onto the end of that. And Yanazai gets the ball back. Oli Inka, he's dived. That's a dive. He just fell over. Oli Inka just went down like he was shot. Nobody was really near him. Do we get VAR in Europe? We are getting VAR. And a penalty is given. It's actually been given. Kevin Bossard apparently had a handful of Oli Inka's shirt. He went down like he's been shot. Come on, Juris. Come on, Juris. Yanazai steps up to take it, and Juris Melkemians, what a save from the spot. It is still nil-nil. Yanazai's gone over to take the corner. Hopefully, this is just the highlight because it's a corner and not because something's happening. Melkemians holds on. End the highlight. So right now, if it stays this way, we still are bottom of the group. However, we can move up into third if Slavia Prague lose. Sorry, win. That's it. If they win against Osijek and we draw... It's, come on, get the ball clear. There you go. Bossard does so. If if it stays this way, if we draw our final two games, we can finish third in the group, which will put us into the Europa League conference knockout rounds, I think. Oli Inka tries to cross it, can't manage it. Kriz. Now, Adnan Janazai, Jablonski, left hand side is Kriz once again. Slavia Praga all over us at the moment. Cross comes in, Oli Inka this time heads over the bar. Still nil nil. Five minutes left to play of the first half. Melkimans is on an 8.3. Still not quite done. We've got a minute and 30 seconds of injury time. Stefan Hagens and Oleg Gorks. The Latvian can run off towards the right-hand side. He's been tripped. He's still kept hold of the ball somehow. Gorks is going alone. And why did he do that? I know he saw his name up in lights and everything, but that was a terrible effort. Half-time, it is nil-nil, and that is because Juris Melkomians is a world-class goalkeeper for some reason. Um, if we can make a goal, is that what we wanted to say? Right, let's try and fire some of these people up. In fact, let's try and fire pretty much everybody up by saying, um, I'm, what do I say here? You weren't that bad, I think. I mean, it kind of worked, kind of worked. Alex Arthur is on a 6.4, which is a bit of a worry. Yanis Vogel's also on a 6.4. Are they doing some stuff down their right-hand side I'm not knowing about? Real Sociedad are 4-0 up against Osijek, so that is surely three points going to Spain there. Maxim Baranovs is going to collect it. Across to counter, long ball forward. Stefan Hagens flicks the ball to Taihi. He's got two in the middle, plays it back to Stefan Hagens. Gorks is facing away from goal, and Oleg Gorks does not need to be facing goal. It is 1-0 against Slavia Prague. We have been rubbish, but if we can hold on, this is massive. I think if it stays this way, we are almost guaranteed to finish second or third. I think that is how it works. Stefan Hagen with a free kick. Bossard to the back. And Kevin Bossard conceded the penalty in the first half. Has managed to get himself on the score sheet at the other end. It's 2-0. I don't want to claim that I'm a genius. But my half-time team talk there seems to have done the trick. Right, let's do a couple more changes. Alex Arthur is going to come off for Smirnovs. Arthur has not been very good this match. 6.3. Vogels as well as on the 6.5. We don't really have anyone who can play on that left-hand side as a defender at the moment. So I guess you're going to be staying on. We're going to do Taihi for Saranens. There you go. Real Sociedad are now 7-0 up against Osijek, the team that we actually lost to. Um, I, kind, I kind of don't want to play Real San Sebastian anymore. We've won this match 2-0. Second half performance was absolutely phenomenal. Gorks and Bossard with the goals. Three points. We need one more point, I think. And then we're going to finish third place at worst. 
and I do have to say that Malcolm Yans was an absolute hero. He got a 9.6. He got a 9.6 in that game. He is still not really Latvia's number one for some reason. He's kind of getting there. Ten caps now to his name. Malcolm Yans is getting good. I'm very happy he has signed a new five-year deal. It's a snowy final group stage game against Real San Sebastian. We've made three changes. Neymar returns to the starting eleven alongside Abdul Samed and Ingi Paulsen. We have dropped Taihi to the subs bench. We have dropped Alex Adams. I think it's Adams or maybe Arthur. They're both Alexes and they're both Ghanaian wingers. One of them, the one who played in the last match, he's been dropped. And we've also lost Sergei's counter because he's been suspended. If we don't lose, I think we finish third at worst. Already Slavia Prague have moved ahead of us in the table, which means we can now afford to lose. If Slavia Prague don't lose their game, if they win their game basically, Osijek will be finishing bottom. Neymar with a free kick, Stefan Hagens is there. The keeper comes out, holds on to that. I don't know whether that was the highlight. Romero kicks it long over the halfway line. Nenny B forward. Rongier collects though, down the right hand side. It's once again, it's Neymar. What are you doing, buddy? He's pushed over Ilas. Paslak's going to run for the ball. Maris Miklov with a very good slide tackle there. It's still Real San Sebastian with the ball. Coming forward with it. Right-hand side. Loads and loads of space for Paslak. Neymar's closing him down with his yellow boots. It's crossed in low. It's taken a few deflections. Vugels chucks a leg out. Malcolm Yans has managed to stop that ball from going in. It is still nil-nil. And I'm not quite sure how... It is going to be a corner. It is going to be wrong here to take it. Right-footed towards the front post. Maris Miklov heads the ball clear. And that will end the highlight. Slavia Prague are 3-0 up against Osijek after 26 minutes. We lost and drew with Osijek. Ingi Paulsen has picked up a knock as well. Maybe we need to bring him off. Vugels with a throw for us. Paslak heads clear. Vugels doesn't get there. And now Real San Sebastian can break. Vugels with a very good slide tackle. Bossard forward. Abdul Samed hasn't played a lot of football so far this season. Stefan Hagen's on the right hand side. He's got two, three, four options in the middle. Abdul Samed's won. His first time shot is blocked. And Real Sociedad can counter attack. Garces in on goal. It's not a very good effort from the striker. Hits it wide of Malcolm Yanta's post. It's probably going to be nil nil at half time. I'll take this. I'll genuinely take this. I'm not expecting to do too much against Real Sebastian. Real Sebastian, Real Sociedad. Their name's confusing me. I don't know why I haven't changed it. I've given them a decent enough team talk, although players like Stefan Hagens, I need to kind of talk to you, I need to talk to Neymar, Ingi Paulsen and Gorks and just kind of say, look lads, and I guess Bossard, look, you weren't bad, but I've got faith. Is the team talk going to do wonders? It started off well by the looks of it, one minute on the clock, and we might have ourselves a penalty. It might be outside the area. So what are we going to say, VAR? Is it a penalty? Is it a free kick? Is it just a dive from Yanis Vugels? He doesn't strike me as the type of player to dive. It's outside the box. It is going to be a free kick, which is effectively a corner at this range. We are going to see it as well. Neymar's going to be the man to go over to take it. Right-footed. Plenty of players in the middle. He's hit it low towards an NAB. Romero saves the headed effort from the young Ivorian defender. Real Sociedad now with a chance of their own. Rongia with a ball towards the back post. No one's really there. And somehow Borja Garces has managed to get that ball past Euros Malcomian. It is 1-0 to Real Sociedad. 53 minutes on the clock. We haven't been very good just in general, have we? Ingi Paulsen is on a 6.3. What are you doing? Stefan Hagen, 6.3. Right, Ingi Paulsen for Taihi. We're going to do Stefan Hagen for Stipe Nikes and then actually swap you two round. Because I think I'd rather have... Taihi on the wing than as a striker. Do we also do the boss coming off as well for Adam Cesar? It's a weird thing to do, but we're going to play him as a right back. Fully aware that was all of our substitutions. So uh, we now need to just kind of do something. Fire them up. Let's get a little bit of fire in their bellies. Frankie Dow looks a bit upset that I've shouted at him and said, come on, lads. Vogels with this. Back to Frankie Dow with his upset face. Kicks it long towards one of their players. Wonderful. Frank. Frank, what are you doing? Real Sociedad now passing around. Martin, Oz Osra Bazal, don't know how to say his name. I feel like I should. I know he's a very good footballer, but I have no idea how to say his name. Felix Paslak on the right-hand side, crosses it low, and he's there. Mikel is there. Oyarzabal? Is that? It's probably not that, is it? But we're going to go for it. It is 2-0 to Real Sociedad. 70 minutes played. It looks like, though, Slavia Prague might have done us a favour. Neymar with a free kick. 12 minutes left, and Neymar, oh my word... Neymar has just scored an absolute worldie from a very long, long way away. We have still got a bit of time left to maybe 
get ourselves an equaliser. What a free kick this is from Neymar. I've only just put him on free kicks as well. I completely forgot that I didn't have him set up to take them. I feel like I should have done that a long time ago. Paslak with a corner. Six minutes left. It's found its way into the back of the net. It's 3-1. It's game over. Five minutes of injury time. Is there another goal in this game? Mikel across to Baron Tiexa. Maybe. I'm so glad I'm not in charge of, like, a Spanish side because I'm going to fail to say most of these names. Martin plays it across over Neymar's head. Paslak controls it. Neymar's chasing him down, though. Paslak back to Stark. Nicholas Stark with this ball plays it in the middle. Real Sociedad looking very, very good. I feel like there's a fourth goal coming somehow. Into the penalty area. It's the fullback. Plays it backwards. It's a long-range effort in off the post. It is a fourth goal for Real San Sebastian. Why? Just Sociedad. That's their name. They're Real Sociedad. They've just got a silly name in the game. It's 4-1. We genuinely got beaten by the better side. We didn't play well. Fully aware of that. We did not play particularly well. Frankie Dow, Nene B, Abdul Samad Mikov, those were kind of the star players in a way. They played all right. Obviously Neymar with his free kick. But then you look at the match ratings for the Real Sociedad players and uh, yeah, everybody was at least a seven for the most part. So uh, yeah, we just got beaten by the much better side. But... We are now into the Europa League 2 first knockout round, the Europa Conference League. Maris Mikulov is out for six to eight days. Okay, Ingi Paulsen's out to five to six days. When's the draw? It's now. Now is the draw for the Europa Conference League first knockout round and looking at the teams that we could possibly play. They're all right. Some of them are okay. Some of them aren't that great. I mean, I fancy my chances against literally every side here, apart from maybe a Dinamo Kiev, Krasnodar, Galatasaray, I feel like they might be a little bit tougher than some of the others. Marseille as well. So watch us get somebody like Marseille. It's Young Boys versus Hirenveen. St. Paulton, I'll take them. Trabs on Spore. Marseille versus Sloven. Bratislava. Ludogorets. Galatasaray. We are at home for the first leg. It's Krasnodar. Kras Krasnodar are not... That's, that's tough, isn't it? Krasnodar are a tough, tough side. I feel like we've also played them before. Their star player is their goalkeeper. And, I mean, he's good. He's certainly better than what we've got to offer. But if he is their, their key player as their goalkeeper, they have Fedor Shalov as well. Fedor Shalov is good at football. We know this. I, d I don't know whether I've played them as the Skins Academy or we've played them multiple times as Rupert Boom in my other series that I've done. But I feel like I've played them lots. Yeah, we've never played them with the Skins Academy. Anyway, that is going to be next episode Thank you very much for watching this one. We have got a huge amount of football now to play in between the uh, Real St. Sebastian game and the Krasnodar matches. We have also got a transfer window which is going to open and close. We will return for the Krasnodar games. I will also have a little update on any transfers that take place as well. We've also got youth intake. Apparently it's rubbish, so I'm not looking forward to that. But thank you very much for watching this episode. If you did enjoy, like, subscribe, stick your comments down in the comment section below, and I'll be back next time for some Russian teams. That's new, isn't it?